search and destroy. Sabre one, set a charge on the top. We have the device. What's up guys, welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is here and it is in beta mode right now. But ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the best settings that you could possibly be using right now for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and to get the best frames per second in this game and also quality. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to make this video long. I'm going to make it short, sweet and simple. So I'm going to jump straight into the game and show you what you should be using to get the best frames out of the game so you can be able to get the frames that I just showed you just now. All right, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 right now, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the beta version of the game, so don't expect miracles, but what you can do is follow my guidelines on the settings that I'm using for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 open beta mode right now and to do good FPS and have your game looking good as well. So all you need to do is follow my guidelines, follow my settings and you should be good to go. Alright, so all you need to do is go to the little guy icon over here and then go to graphics like this and you're going to go to display. Now they put it in three different categories. Display, quality and view which is actually pretty neat I like the fact that they've done this where well, you can actually know where your settings is your quality your display your view your field of view all of those things it's a really good thing that they made it into three different categories so you know exactly where your things is that you need to change and all of those beautiful things I like that thumbs up to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 to actually go ahead and put this in three different categories all right Ladies and gentlemen, so first thing is display mode. Obviously, put this at full screen. Do not put it in borderless mode. Do not play it at full screen borderless mode. Put it at full screen, the less input latency you are going to get when you have it at full screen. So highly recommend it. Full screen, number one. Display monitor. Obviously, you're going to use your native screen that you're currently running. So your display for your laptop or your monitor that you're currently running. This is obviously going to be your graphics card that you're running. And then this is going to be your monitor's refresh rate. So 60, 120, to all the way up to 240 hertz refresh rate monitors. Now, a lot of people are want to play at 1440p. Yes, I know this. If you want to play at 1440p and you want good frames per second while playing at 1440p, let's say from 1080p to all the way up to 1440p, all the way up to 4K. Okay, not really 4K. 4K, you're going to lose a lot of FPS in this game. Trust me. But let's say from 1080p upwards, okay? Change these things that I'm going to show you right now. All right, dynamic resolution off. Aspect ratio, automatic. V-Sync, disable this. Unless you want to cap your FPS, because this is in gameplay, this is your menu, all right? This is gameplay. If you put this on, it's going to cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor. So if you have a 240 hertz monitor and your graphics card is really, really good, but let's just say it won't reach 240 FPS. That's just a thing because your card isn't powerful enough to push out 240 FPS in the game. Unfortunately, it's not. So you won't see 240 FPS. Now, if you are not getting screen tearing in your game, then just put it off. Then it uncaps your FPS and you can see how much FPS you do inside the game itself. All right. If you are not getting screen tearing, this is why this is here. If you're getting screen tearing in your game, it physically shows you. I mean, the trees are cutting off. It's like floating on the right hand side over here. That's called screen tearing. All right. If you are getting that, then go ahead and switch this on. If you are getting it, if you're experiencing it while you are playing your game, if you don't turn it off and it will uncap your FPS. This off. This you put on custom. This you're going to put on 2.2. This you are going to put at 60% so you can actually see the Call of Duty logo and then this you're going to put off 
from here you're just going to apply the settings and then go to quality you're going to go to obviously custom you're going to keep this at 100 percent now this is where it plays a very big role on different machines these settings over here and there's lots of them there is a lot all right okay so let's go over these okay so obviously 100 percent NVIDIA DLSS, this is for people out there that has NVIDIA DLSS. If you do have this, then go ahead and switch this on and put it on ultra performance if you're running at 1440p or performance at 1440p. If you're running 1080p, go ahead and put it on balance like me. I leave mine on balance so my game looks good and I'm still doing really good FPS in the game. All right. So now let's say you don't have NVIDIA DLSS, all right? or you don't have the best of AMD graphics cards, then all you're going to need to do is put it on this setting over here. Filmic SMAA T2 times. That is the perfect setting if you do not have any of these AMD things or you don't have the latest of graphics cards. Go ahead and put it on this. Now, I do have an NVIDIA graphics card and I do have DLSS, so I go ahead and put this on balance and I leave it like this. If you have an RTX graphics card, ladies and gentlemen, and you have DLSS enabled, go ahead and put it on balance. If you are wanting to play the game at 1440p or higher, then go ahead and put it on performance, test it out, or ultra performance and test it out. But don't get me wrong, if you change this to ultra performance, you're going to start losing quality in the game. You'll get more frames, yes, but you're going to lose quality in the game. So I'd rather choose performance or balance, one of the two. Now, if you put this on quality, you're going to lose a lot of frames, but your game's gonna look absolutely beautiful at 1440p, at 1080p. I leave mine at balanced with my RTX 2060 OC, and it looks absolutely really, really beautiful. Plus, I still do a lot of frames in the game. All right, nearby level of detail, you're going to put this at high. Texture resolution, put this at normal. Ladies and gentlemen, you put this at normal. Just leave it at normal. It's a multiplayer game, right? Do not put it at low. Do not put it at very low. Keep it at normal. Obviously, it's going to eat more VRAM if you put this on high, as you can see on the right-hand side. Keep it at normal. And no, your game's not going to look like that. Your game's going to look like that if you put this on very low. Yes, then it's going to look pixelated and stuff. Leave it at normal, and your game will still look like that. All right, texture filter anastropic, you're going to keep this at high. Particle quality, at high. Bullet impact and spray, obviously you're going to keep that on. Shader quality, high. Right now, for this Call of Duty, I highly recommend you go ahead and put this at high. All right, or you put it on medium. Do not put it on low, the game looks... I don't know, it's just, there's something about this new card right now. If you put this at low, the game looks really weird, all right? So medium or high, go ahead and test it on your graphics card. Go ahead and do so, all right? This on all on-demand texture streaming, you're going to put off. Streaming quality, obviously on low, you do not need this. Very low with shadow map resolution. Spot shadow quality, low. Cache spot shadows on or off at your own personal preference depending on the machine that you're running. It's a big debate on these two things. People's gonna ask me, why do you have this on? People's gonna ask me, why do you have this off? It's your own personal preference, all right? I leave mine on. Okay, cool. Particle lighting, normal. Ambient occlusion, both. SSR, high. Put it on high. This, off. NVIDIA reflex low latency, please go ahead and put this off. Depth of field, off. World, motion blur off weapon motion blur off foam gain 0 0.25 and then you apply these settings you're going to go to view and this is your field of view it's your own personal preference depending on what you use for field of view weapon field of view i keep mine on wide you can go ahead and put it narrow default or wide it's your own personal preference let's just put it on default and i'm going to leave it at default try it out at default and see how it is and then try out wide try out narrow you can choose which one is best for you now you do get a third person game mode in this new call of duty modern warfare 2 and this is the field of view for third person i keep mine all the way up always on every single call of duty i've ever played i put it as high as it can go but it's my own personal preference this is your own personal preference this is your own personal preference and this is your own personal preference all right ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year, and as always, peace out.